Hi everyone, my name is Kyle Benson. I'm an Alliance Architect for Red Hat. and Today we're going to use Ansible to install Microsoft SQL Server on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. If you'd like to follow along with this guide, you will need uh, Ansible installed on your local system as well as a uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux system that has some basic internet connectivity to connect to the Microsoft repos. So in order to get started, if you've already done those two things, you can take a look at this role available at atgalaxy.ansible.com. You can also take a look at the Git repository um, that uh, lists you know, all, the, all the actual content of these playbooks, so if you'd like to see exactly what's happening. Uh, the readme gets pulled over automatically to Galaxy, but it makes it really nice and easy to figure out what's happening here. So I've gone ahead and installed uh, this role locally on my system by running ansible-galaxy install kylabenson.msql, and you can see that it was installed successfully. So before we continue, let's actually take a look at what this role is going to do. So we're in the main task file here, and essentially what this is going to do is it's going to do all the necessary setup to get the system up and running uh, an MSSQL server. So we can see that it's going to install the basic, set up the basic repos, install any of the tools that are necessary to actually run this MSQL server. It's going to make sure that if we are specifying a firewall, uh, that that firewall port is configured and ready. And then it's also going to start the services and make sure everything's good to go. Uh, within this role, I've also included some other tasks that make it easy to create a new database, uh, import an existing database schema, or delete a database. So let's take a look at my actual playbook where we're going to call that role. So I'm specifying here uh, just a couple of basic things. I'm going to specify that the database name is going to be named Ansible Demo. Uh, it's going to operate against localhost when creating that because it is connecting to that system. Um, I've set the, the password and the database user for this version is by default SA. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is call the role. So this is actually going to perform all that work we just saw in the main.yaml. And then it's going to create a new database. And so this takes a few minutes because uh, uh, it'll install all these packages. It's going to pause for 15 seconds for, for that database connection to come up, make sure that it's there. And then we're going to go ahead and create that database. So let's go ahead and give this a run. It's playbook site.yaml. And we'll see that the process starts to kick off by gathering some basic information about the system. From there, it's going to go ahead and install the, uh, the Apple repository uh, to satisfy some dependencies, as well as the Microsoft server to actually install the MSQ, MSSQL server bits. Now don't worry if this takes a few minutes on your side. Uh, running the, the installation of the SQL server packages as well as <clears throat> the, uh, the initial setup script can take a few minutes. So don't panic if you don't see uh, respond right away. Uh, but usually within two to three minutes, depending on your connectivity speed or where your uh, system is based, it should go through just fine. Right, looks like that went through successfully. So now it's gonna just make sure that if we're up doing an upgrade, it's gonna stop any existing server. It's gonna run the uh, the setup script here. And it looks like it ran through, so we're gonna wait for 15 seconds for that system to come back up. Uh, depending on your system and the resources available, it might come up earlier than that. You can shorten that time if you'd like to. Uh, but for me, just what I found to be successful on this, uh, in this system, that usually works pretty well. So it looks like it went ahead and created a new database. So now we should actually just be able to go ahead and connect to that system. So from the command line, I'm going to connect to that server. So one of seven, two, three, four, five, two, with the user SA and the password right here. And it looks like we've connected successfully. So if we take a look at our list of databases, you can see that it successfully created the Ansible demo database, and that's it. We're good to go. So that's installing and base, a basic configuration of a database using Ansible for Microsoft SQL Server on RHEL. Be sure to check out the repository. Try to do some existing imports if you have a database that you'd like to pull in. Otherwise, uh, happy automating and hope you enjoyed the video.